It is heating up over a proposal in Carmel to bring some new amenities to the city, like a new luxury hotel and an expensive carousel. Uh, the mayor of Carmel is actually defending the plan, but more than 1,500 people have signed an online petition opposing it. Carlos Diaz is live in Carmel this morning with the details. Carlos? Yeah, Julia, it's the big question, to carousel or not to carousel? As you said, the city of mayor, the mayor of the city of Carmel, he's behind the project. But other people who are detractors, they're wondering whether or not a carousel and a luxury hotel are the best ways to spend the $76 million that they're hoping to raise for several different projects here in Carmel. Now, supporters of the carousel and the luxury hotel are quick to point out that there are no new taxes raised with this hotel. Uh, this carousel in this hotel. In other words, you would not be paying more taxes if you live here in Carmel. The money would come from a bond that already exists. The people against the project want to see the money spent in a wiser fashion so that the city doesn't need to kick in the millions of dollars to support the economics. So the petition doesn't say that we're against carousels, that we're against hotels. We've just suggested that the carousel um, be paid for by donors and make it a community effort and that the hotel be um, sort of reconfigured to be more of a mid-range hotel. It will be adding historical value to the area and it will be something for the kids to be enjoying it. Now, she's not the only supporter of the project. There are almost 700 signatures on a petition on change.org. But on the flip side, there are more than 1,500 signatures on a petition opposing the city of Carmel doing this project, bringing in the carousel and also the luxury hotel. So you can see twice as many people are opposing it compared to those in favor of it. Now, there was no vote or action taken last night at that city council meeting. They're going to be looking at this in a financial committee over the next few weeks to determine what the finances look like. They're going to be crunching the numbers of this entire project. So right now, no vote is being taken on this project. Ben, Julia.